Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Two Worlds. You are watching Gamer PhD. So in the last episode, we took out a dungeon full, filled with zombies and skeletons, and now we're going to continue our exploration of this westerly pathway. We're west of the village where they were worried about getting wiped out by some sort of unknown evil force. Uh, what do we have here? Are these some, are these some bandits? Okay, yeah. Not too worried about y'all. Uh, okay, I hate these archers that run off into the middle of nowhere and try to make you chase them. They're so annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay, but I am going to go ahead and throw back on my... Uh, the weapon I was using before, like this sword with the shield. Much better combo. So I don't really care too much about the archer. He might be able to do a little bit of damage, but chasing him all throughout the middle of nowhere just doesn't make any sense. Although getting an arrow in the mid back is, you know, it's gotta hurt. It's gotta hurt. Archmage Earth Staff. I wonder what this does. Okay, I can't carry it because I'm too, I weigh too much. Let's see what these pants look like. Okay, so they're sort of like what I had on before, but they're cooler. Well, are they cooler? Do they have like the knee spikes? They gotta have the knee spikes, yo. Okay, no knee spikes on this pair. Hmm, not sure I dig it. Okay, what can we drop? I don't want this axe. It's, it's kind of a cool axe. Did I buy this? I hope I didn't buy this. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Um, okay, but it is a two-handed weapon. Uh, hmm. We also got this, which is pretty cool. The damage on some of these weapons is getting absurd. Ooh, 50% poison damage. Wow. Okay, so we have, like, some of those major gems that can add, like, a ton of, um, just a ton of damage. Okay, I was hoping to, like, build up another armor set. But I don't really want to move away from the black and red armor yet, so I'm just going to drop some of these little gold-looking armaments. Because I, I want that Earth, Earth Mage staff. That's interesting. You know, maybe I can, like... I'm going to go ahead and store these, though. That way, if I ever want to find them again, I can just come back down this path and hopefully relocate them. Ooh, that's kind of cool. what this looks like. Okay, it's definitely not as cool as my other one, but it's better. I'm gonna stick with the cool one. Okay, can I see if let's see if this can do any weapon what's or any damage whatsoever. I don't understand why these are so like low powered. Like I feel like that should be doing a lot of damage. I can just, like, keep shooting them, though. Looks like it knocks them down. That's that's not bad. So if I kind of run up the hill very slowly at him, I can just keep knocking them down. Okay, still, it's still too difficult. Running up a hill after an archer, just... Hello, Reapers. Okay, it's kind of cool that it has that stamp uh, stagger damage, though. I didn't realize that. Okay. You know what? Get him. Ugh. 
Okay, foolish enough to come oh, after that's me. That's interesting. Big mistake. Ah, that's better. Taking out those little triceratops looking things. All right, who do we have here? It looks like his weapons might be a slightly higher level. Why the great haste then? Drop that weapon. Put away that weapon. Definitely a higher level of bandits. Like check out the armor they're wearing. I'll probably be able to stack that with my own pair. What's that? Okay, I can't... Like, I'll be able to stack that, so I'm just going to hand him this for a second. Wait, how do I do this? Um, okay, I'm going to drop that. Okay, I can't get that yet. I'm going to... Drop those. Now I can grab that. And it should be stackable. Yes, it was. Good. Okay, now I'm going to try to pick up some of the stuff I dropped. Great. Now, how good is that shield he had? 172 against my 382. No contest. Right. Looks like we have, like, a burnt-out cabin here. Oh, no. Don't block me in here, Gollum. Okay, good. I've got to be mindful of that, like, that thing will trap me. Okay, we're healed. Oh, interesting. It looks like there's another tower out in that direction. Where is that? So I'm looking southernly, so it's out. It must be out here. This must be it. The Stormclaw Tower. Hmm. Don't think there's anything in there. Not going to go in there with Gollum following me. Okay, so we've checked out this path to the on the far west side of the map. And in conclusion, we didn't really find any answers. I think what we'll do now is run back up to the village and see if they're still there, because that might give us some insight into whether or not we actually found the sacred grove. Oh, what's this? Looks like it's a dead reaper. It's getting hot here. Yeah, no challenge though. Drip, drip, drop. Okay, I don't want to fight these spiders. Like, they're, you know, they're formidable enemies if they get the jump on you. But I don't need it at the moment. So if we go to the left up here, there's that teleport. And I really don't know why there is a teleport up in this area. It seems like this is very remote that? and that there aren't any quests. We haven't like we didn't un uncover any quests in this direction, so why like why the shrines, why the infrastructure? 
for teleportation. Doesn't make sense to me. So I think that we are right and that it's the Sacred Grove is actually to the east. And, I mean, this was a nice, like, you know, it, it's good that we explored this side of the map. That way we're not constantly wondering about it. But um, that fire animation seemed particularly lively at the moment. But I do want to check back in on the village to make sure we haven't disturbed anything yet. Okay. Yeah, it's the giants. And there are lots of them. Well, sorry, villagers. I guess we meddled and we found out. Okay, there are four of them. That didn't work. I need to investigate if there are any better heal spells. I know I've said that before, but this just is not not cutting it in the midst of combat. Ah. Okay, well, looks like we lost the villagers and that it was a question that's of the giants. Lightning storm. Oh, that sounds cool. Ice shield. Some cool boots there. Curious to see what those are like. I don't think we're high enough level for them yet. Ooh, what's this? Rage plate armor. Okay, I don't think we can... Yeah, we're not... We're not going to be able to carry that. I, I'm just not even going to try because that's... That's too much. Alright, well, we solved the mystery. Oh, he has a katana? That's cool. Way better slashing damage than what I have. Minus fire damage, but like, still. Oh, but this is two-handed. That's fun. That's fun. If it was a one-handed, I might consider it, but at the moment, I can't. Oh, this person's alive. You shouldn't be here. We can deal with our problems our own selves. Just clearly not. Me. So it looks like not everybody got taken out by the giants. So maybe I arrived in time. Who knows? So I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? 
let's take a look at the map. There is this side road here. Why do I feel like we've traveled that side road, though? Like, how did we get to the Western Talmont node? Or, oh, was it this? I'm a little confused. Bear with me for a second. So we found a tower somewhere down here. Like, we visited the tower, but I could have sworn we arrived at it by this road. I just don't know. Oh, no, see, this is the Earth Claw Tower. All right. I get it. So we haven't taken that path. Um, let's do that now. It'll only take us a second, and maybe we'll discover something. Stand. Hello. You have no chance. Oh, bandits. Oh, you got a nifty shield there. I bet I can stack that with mine. We're matching. One of us is going to have to change. Or die. Oh, don't you run away. Uh, okay, run. Fine, run. This is kind of cool. I like the black and on gold, but it's just, it's, it's not... Not nearly as leveled as we are. Okay, interesting. So this is the same style as the armor I have on, but it's just like a simple silver. Um, okay, I'm going to do the thing where I drop the... Why can't I drop that axe? What's going on here? Okay, there we go. I can bring that in, stack that, make it better, grab the axe, we're What's done. That? Ram's Cave. Do you want to check out Ram's Cave? I mean, we can. Let's just see what's going on down here, see how big it is. Cozy. Cozy, eh? Alright, where's my trusty bludgeon? There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, I'm not doing any damage to that thing. Um... That's weird. Let's try out my fire weapon. Okay. They are a bit vulnerable to fire, but... Oh, and very high level. Um, I don't think this is a fight we can win, y'all. I think we're going to have to go ahead and... Uh, Yeah, no, no, there's not, no way. We're not going through those things. Okay, well, that's kind of exciting. We haven't found an enemy that we just can't take on for a while. So like I said, I've said in previous episodes, we're going to have to come back later in the game and do like an all the caves episode where we just kind of grind through all the caves we haven't explored yet. How does this work? Okay, so this is kind of a short path up this way. Got some boars. Huh. What's this? I wonder what this is. Interesting. Maybe that'll come into play later. That's not the node where we met with um, Kira, is it? I don't think it is, because that one's down here and has a mark, uh, map marker. Stand. 
Stand! Drop that weapon! Getting better. Let's have a look. Alright, I think I'm going to put these all into strength because I've been getting really annoyed with carrying capacity lately. Go ahead and put that into fire. Wait, what was that? What is this? That might be good. Okay, we have a teleport here. That's useful. Right. Okay. Yep, this makes sense now. So just down here a ways is intersecting with the trail that we used earlier when we were contacting Kira. Okay, let's deal with these wolves. Great. Okay. Oh! Whoa. That's a big old bear. Okay, I think we're good for the moment. Let's... Okay, we're not going to do the main quest at the moment. Tharbakin, the missing son. Okay, so this is probably why we're trying to get the people at the mine to help us. That's one option. We could head back to the mine. Or what do we have in Cathalon? So there's this whole fishy business dealing with the package to take the guard in Quidnar, but something is wrong. We That's kind of a dead end. So we've got two dead ends there. Public enemy... Okay, we could look for the flame, but I have no idea where the Enclave is. I, I seem to remember it's like south of the river, so higher level again. Um, the, there's the crown mission where we're trying to figure out where that the High King was buried, but we didn't really have any leads on how to find the Valley of the Barrows. The Orcs Camp. Okay, we could return that quest. Yeah, let's go ahead and return that quest. I wonder if he'll have anything else for us. Ooh, what do you want? Fiddlesticks! Where is that boy? Have you seen my apprentice? Uh, not even from here. Fiddlesticks, I say! You are so nervous on account of an apprentice? Verily. My apprentice claims I am not I and refuses to work. I try to tell him I am I, but he says that is what the other I also said. 
the other eye? Are you, uh, sick old man? It may seem uh, a little odd to you, but there is currently a double of me in that next village. What? A double of you? <laughs> not quite, but... Well, anyway, t'was not the success I thought it would be. And I need my apprentice back. Can you help me with this problem, stranger? Help you? Mayhap, tell me more of this strange problem. My apprentice was very upset by the procedure. He took the magic mirror we used, and he will not return it. Why not, pray? He refuses to believe I am the real one. Hi, prithee. Talk some sense into him. I need that mirror to get rid of my double. I will pay you well. I thank you indeed, friend. I can only hope that you are the original and not the replica. Why, of course I am. Now make haste, I prithee. Fiddlesticks. That would double the problem, not solve it. <laughs> Besides, that idiot boy would collapse with fright. Aye, he seems a somewhat timid lad. Timid, aye. But a splendid apprentice. Nervous, too. But if you'd seen what he'd seen, mayhap you would also be nervous. Okay. Well, there's another little quest for us. But let's turn in the orc quest first. Oh, is that a horse? Can I... Yeah, that might be one of the horses I've been riding. I could use another Can one, help you? all things considered. Let's talk to this guy, let him know that we dispatched the orcs. I bid you welcome. Have you dispatched the band of orcs? Was a white orc among them? Nay. Ah, I knew it. However, I am grateful for your help. Take this gold and have a drink. If you come to me later, I will have something for you. I thank you and bid you farewell. Welcome back. I have good tidings of the Whitehead Orc. Verily? Pray tell me. My scouts told me that some Orcs are hidden at the King's Barrows, and our special friend was among them. Oh, good tidings good. indeed. Will you kill him? Will you? I shall not forget this. Nevertheless, I am somewhat unhappy. I would dearly have loved to settle accounts with that white head myself. We will mayhap meet again. Okay, so this one might actually lead us to the King's Barrows. Hold on. Okay, so that's underground. Okay, yep. Uh, so now we have a location, but this is going to be quite the journey. Honestly, that's fine with me. This is like a new adventure along the West Coast. That could be kind of cool. Um, but before we go... Okay, so where is the... Where is the apprentice? Well, I suppose I'll be back in this city anyways. Probably take that horse too. Unless the apprentice is right around here, I'll move on. And that's locked, so it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Where's that horse? Okay. 
So I think we head down this way and we should take a right when we're near the entrance to Quidinar. Them again. Yes, yeah, so right along this road here. weather. It's getting hot here. Okay, looks like we're coming up on, on a new village on our left. That's probably going to have all kinds of quest opportunities. Or maybe it's not a village. Maybe it's a Grom Fortress. Hmm. Looks like it's an arm, a military camp. Not sure if there's an opening. Very odd. Oh, here's an entrance. You look like a mercenary. I am a mercenary. How fares your camp? We don't have enough men. I should join the army. Is that what you mean? Nay, nay. But uh, two of my men deserted. And I want them punished. I have no idea where they might be, however. Do you wish me to bring them back to you? Nay, we have no prison here. Uh, there is, however, another way. Nay, you want them dead? I did not say that, but uh, it would be best, and your reward will be appropriate. What? You collect mushrooms, do you? Mayhap you are not the best man for this uh, delicate task. How will I prove to you that I have done this? I will carry neither corpse nor head. Wilcor has a nice braid. Bring me that as proof. And the other? Ah, oh, mayhap you are truly the one for this mission. Nay, Wilco's braid will be enough. Farewell, mercenary. Okay, so we have to hunt down two deserters. Don't know if we have any lead there, though. What is it? What do you wish of me? King Emrys has ordered us to symbolically bury the Hatterberg defenders. We'll have to use their heads. Okay, yeah, no real lead there at the moment. Are you a trainer? What's wrong with you, eh? Nothing to do? There is no need to be hostile. Oh, a diplomat, eh? I, I have no time for this. I have more to do, luckily for you. 
Ah, these clods. And they call themselves soldiers. Soldiers? I, my platoon. They go drinking on leave. That's fine. They return late. That's not fine. And then one of them even decides to desert. And that's a fine swine. When I find the time to find him, and I will, I'll kick him all the way back to the barracks. I would not like to be in his shoes. If you go by the Leaning Elm Inn, look for Arian Terrace. Tell him he's in up to his neck. I'd bet my armor he's in there, full of ale and dreams of gold. Death by hanging if it happens during combat operations. A hundred lashes in peacetime. One hundred lashes? If he survives it, the boy will only have half a back left. We call it discipline. I bet there's some good stuff in those chests back there. Because like if you pick if you pick the lock, you're gonna have like the entire base after you. And that seems like if I were a game developer, that's where I'd hide some of the good treasure. Maybe we should be leveling our sneak a bit. That's another thought. We could level our sneak a bit and then um, try to do some of these more daring heists. Wow, we have a lot of quests from Clovely. Okay, Western Camp. The two deserters, no clue about where they are. This one, they basically give you a clue and tell you where they are. Okay, well, we can try to do that in the next episode. So as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.